Hey guys, welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we have a truly terrifying episode for you. Yeah. This is the front of our house, as you can see, and um, it's partially sighted, partially painted, and part brick. Well, today we are staining over the brick. Yeah, so we are going completely different color on this. Um, we don't like the way the brick looks with the new uh, siding, so well, we got gray on red and it's... Yeah, and if you have that in your house, yeah. you know, that's perfectly fine. The biggest thing we don't like about it is not just uh, that, but also the people that lived here before us had big evergreen bushes in this area and you can see that it scratched the brick. We've tried pressure washing it, we've tried, um, you know, a few different things, scrubbing it and everything else that will not come off. So the discoloration is the main reason. And then we've got some patches to the grout lines and some different things going on. So it really needs a I don't know. It needs to be freshened up. So yes. That's what we're going to do. We're going to stain the brick. Is that terrifying? Sure. But if it doesn't look right, can it be painted over, stained over, changed by a professional? Absolutely. So that's our project today. And it's only going to be, I don't know, close to 100 degrees outside. Yeah, it's 90 something. At least on this side of the yard, you can see it's already shaded in the morning. So at least we'll have that. That's right. So we've already done some preparations. I've taken down the drains uh, from the gutters. The downspouts. Yeah, the downspouts. Um, and then taken the shutters off that were the faux shutters next to the windows, taking those off. We, we waited to mulch or anything, and this is driving me crazy. We waited to mulch because we knew we were going to be painting, and I'm ready to get that covered up for sure. Yeah, we want to... Do this first and then we'll hit the landscaping. Alright guys, this, you know, we're not kidding. This is truly, truly frightening. I mean, there's the brick of the house. We know what it looks like. And we're changing the color of it by using stain. I really hope that we're not making a big mistake here, but well, hopefully anything's fixable. I mean, we can always paint brick, but I hate painted brick. So hopefully the stain works. Um, the stain is good because it like lets the brick breathe. If you paint brick, then like, especially in a climate where we're at, where we have, you know, very cold winters and then we have very hot summers, um, you know, that can crack and chip because the brick can't breathe. So hopefully the stain works and we get it going good, but the, first step I guess we've already started some of the work like I said we took off the shutters we took off um, you know the downspouts and stuff like that but I have to take down those lights up there and then um, I'm gonna switch you around here and I have to dig out along the base uh, because uh, I gotta get those lower brick down there and if you can see, I already um, tested out this little spot down there. And that stain was a semi-transparent stain. And that wasn't going to work, so we went back and got a solid stain. And I'm about to dig out the base here um, to expose those brick. And then we'll get to work on... Um, taking down the lights and then we'll get to staining so hopefully it doesn't take too long uh, but there is a process of doing it because you can't just paint right along in a row I'm not paint but you can't stain all along in a row because um, your brush might have more stain on it one time than another so it would look very strange so you kind of have to go like a brick here and then a brick down here and then a brick up here and then a so it you fill in over time, um, so this is going to take a while.
right guys, here we are, still working, still working. Everything seems to be going a lot slower than I expected. Of course, you know, you would, when it's 90 degrees out, you know, it's hot and you move a little slower, but we've been, you know, trying to get things done around the house and renovate the front room and the dining room and all this stuff. So like my tools are kind of scattered all over the place. So I feel like I have to go searching for every single little thing that I'm gonna use. And then I'll use it and I'll set it down somewhere and then I can't find it again. I don't know if you've ever had that problem before but I seem to have that problem today. Um, so I am about to crack open the gallon of the stain, pour some of that out there, and then going to test one of the bricks. Um, we already tested it with the semi-transparent, but that's not going to work, uh, because the orange brick from underneath kind of shows through. Uh, so we're going to use the solid, and hopefully that, hopefully it works. I mean, I've got it all prepared and I'm ready to go, so... Um, I would hate for it not to work, but we are going black on this one. So we're going from the, the orange or red brick to black. It should be all right. I think I like it a lot better. Um, drinking some iced tea today. Got to stay hydrated and keep that energy up. All right, enough chit chat, let's get started. Wow, that gallon is full. here. Not bad for a first coat. Here's where we did the semi-transparent. Uh, of course, I didn't dig down as much when I did that test. Uh, so that was probably like three coats. Um, I think it's good. I think we're good. We're gonna, I'm gonna start start getting it going. This is slow going, slow going, all right. So, I kind of got this corner, I got up there, but I, I do like it. I do like it, I think it's gonna be good. No fear anymore, let's just get it painted. It's gonna take a while.
the progress. We're getting to the part where it's really scratched up and stuff, and I think that's going to make a big difference. But here we are. I'll step out too so you can see it. Sorry. Yeah, I love how it looks so far. Sorry, there's like some glare and stuff on the windows, but yeah, I'm digging how it looks. Can't wait to show you it all when it's done. It's kind of slow going, huh? It that's is slow going. It's a couple of hours worth of work, if you can believe it. So yeah, um, the stain really soaks in, but I love how it's not like paint. There's not really much of a sheen. Anyway, that's the update for now. Okay, well, taking a little break here. Oh my gosh, I have been at this all stinking day. It's 6.30 in the evening, and i got to take a little break to eat something. So, we've got Laura here. She's made some wonderful taco salads. I can't wait. I'm starving, but I'm running out of energy. I want to keep going. I want to get it done, at least the first coat today. Yeah. This is taking so much longer than we actually thought. We had originally said, well, we can stay in the brick in the morning and maybe in the evening we can go fishing or go out to dinner or something. Yeah. No, none of that's <laughs> happening today. All paint, all day. I mean, stain, all stain, all Plus day. Plus tomorrow. Plus tomorrow for, but tomorrow should be go, go a lot faster for just the kind of second coat because they don't have to do the like grout or mortar or whatever it's called but all right time to eat all right guys at the end of day one this is where we're at got most of it done took way longer than expected and there's still a lot of like cleanup and little corners and different things that have to be uh taken care of but I think it looks good. I really like it. I really like it too. And of course it'll be broken up a little bit once we get the shutters back on and the gutters back on and all of that. But man, does it point out when you do one thing, does it point out like we had waited to do the mulch um, because we knew we were going to be doing this and man, does that look crappy now. It like, <laughs> just points out everything else you need to do. Like we, now we have to do the trim paint for the yeah, light. Yeah, we got to paint the, uh, the door, not the storm door, but the, the main door. Yeah. So anyway, let us know if you've ever tackled a project like this. I feel like it's a newer process. I feel like, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe not, but, um, well, day one is in the books. Tomorrow's Sunday, and back at it. All right, so day two. Day two of working on the front of the house. I've got my crazy hair on and my dirty shirt, and I'm ready to go to start working again. We're kind of being careful because these last couple of days have been in the 90s. So. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, so I've been going in and out. I made our lunch, I made our dinner. Yeah. I tried to keep John hydrated. I tried to entertain him. How did I do? <laughs> Good, you did, <laughs> you did great. Um, I'm yeah. sweating already. It's super hot outside already. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of detail work for today that is like nooks and crannies and corners where you just have to be careful not to get stuff on other parts of the house. There's so. some touch up from yesterday, some yeah. places where we need to do a little, you know. Yeah, and a second coat, so. Yeah. It's done. There's the big reveal. Well, it's mostly done. Yeah. Don't do, don't look too terribly close. There's a couple <laughs> little touch-ups that still need to happen, and all the way on the left, there's some hostas that are going crazy that we're gonna maybe trim back a little bit. But other than that, uh, we were hoping that the rose bushes would be in bloom. 
when we did this video, but we've had nothing but rain and they yeah. were blooming as you can see and now kind of not so much, but I guess we can go over. We stained the front. Um, yeah, we took out some of the hostas. We've got some rose bushes there and um, remulched and we've got a nice little paver yeah, border. border. And those borders were not there before. They, um, it, it was just kind of like buried brick for a border and then it was just like mulch right into the grass. So we made a little edging there. The mailbox and the lights were painted. They had been like a, I don't know, kind of like a tarnished black, yeah. I don't know, whatever, that, bronzed Bronzed, look. yeah. So those got painted. Uh, what else? We did paint the numbers on the house, but... Yep. We're not going to show that. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. A lot of work, but big payoff, I think. Yeah, it looks great. I'm so much happier with it. Yeah, me too. Me too. Oh, and the front door. We forgot to yeah, mention that. Yeah, the front door. The front door was the same red brick color as those bricks were, so we picked a nice pop of color there, we think. Uh, we had a lot of suggestions in the comments from what you thought we were gonna or guesses I should say what you thought we were gonna do and some of you guessed right. Yeah, we had a little hint by the um, By the plant sitting there. We do think we're gonna put a couple of pots maybe or some more flowers in that flower bed For future, but yeah for, for now. Future. It's done. Yep. Yay. Good Yay. job us. Good job, us. A lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of payoff. I yeah. think it looks wonderful. Me too.